Okay, so welcome back to your hands-on learning journey with machine learning. So my name is Murthy and I'll be with you on this today's learning journey. So folks, thank you so much for all the love and all the personal messages that you're sending over there on the LinkedIn. So thanks everyone. So feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. Share me your feedback. I look forward to hearing from you. So without missed, wasting much of the time. So let's get started. In the last session, you have understood about what exactly is machine learning and especially the topic that we have discussed in the last session is the linear regression. So to give you a quick recap in case of linear regression, so what we do is we will represent the relationship between the X and Y with the help of the equation Y is equal to A plus BX. So what we'll do in today's session is we will follow the general flow of machine learning. So we'll start by getting the data. And once we get the data, we will sample the data. That means we will split the data into two parts. One is a training part and the other one is a test part. And once we do that, we will use the training data and apply on the linear regression algorithm. And then we are going to generate a trained machine learning model. Now, when I have generated a trained machine learning model, at that time, I will have the learned parameter of this linear regression algorithm. So that is what I would expect. Then once I have a trained machine learning model, I'll just go ahead and generate the prediction on a new data. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm now in my Jupyter notebook. I have got a data set that is advertising.csv. That's the file that I'll be using it in today's hands-on session. And I'll be linking the entire code in the uh, YouTube video description so that you can refer the same. So you can download the code from the website Manifold AI Learning as a learner for free. So let's get started. So I'll start by importing the necessary libraries. So I'll say import pandas as PD, import numpy as np import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and i'll also import the cbon library as well so once i have imported the necessary libraries i'll start by creating a data frame so pd dot read underscore csv and i'll specify the file name advertising dot csv so that's the file that i'm going to load and i'll display first few entries of this data frame so if I load the first few entries of this data frame, so this is how the overall data frame would look like. So I've got various columns on this data frame. So unnamed zero, obviously this looks like a column which is does not have any important value. So we can clearly drop this column. Then we have the columns of TV, radio, newspaper and sales. So these are the columns that we have got on the data set. Now out of these columns, the sales column that we have got, this is the column that I want to predict. That means considering the company has spent on TV, radio and the newspaper, consider their advertisement spend on these three media. What is the sales figure that they have got? Now, these values that you see right here, these values have been normalized. Okay, they have just normalized it to a specific scale and we have been given with the data. So sales over here is a output column or it's a label also known as dependent variable also known as output variable. Okay, the columns of TV, radio, newspaper. So these are the columns which we call it as features, okay, or the input variable or also known as the independent variables, okay. That is what we could say from the data that we have loaded. So first, I'll just drop the column. I'll say df dot drop, okay. So the column that I want to remove is this unnamed zero, I'll just copy this name. Okay. Now, once that is done, I'm going to say in place is equal to true. So this column will be removed. So if I display first few entries, so we can see that, okay, the column has been removed from this data frame. Now this is looking fine. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is 
so first thing is we will implement the simple linear regression so in case of simple linear regression some of the key things that you need to remember is we have only one feature in x okay and in case of simple linear regression so my value y should be continuous so we can observe that the variable y that is the sales that we have got so this is continuous in nature now for implementing the simple linear regression i'm going to consider an individual column of this data frame okay for demonstration purpose i'm going to consider the column of tv and for y i'll consider the column of sales so i'll separate the x and y for the given data now what is simple linear regression simple linear regression is given by y is equal to a plus bx so i have the x what is x the amount that has been spent on tv advertisement i have the y what is y the sales that i have observed on this advertisement spending so i want to learn the relationship between the tv and the sales so that once i have learned this relationship if i have the new information about what is the spend that i have done on tv advertisement i can actually predict what will be the sales so that is what i'm trying to find and now that you have a high level understanding let me also give you a visual understanding as well so i'm going to say plt dot scatter okay x comma y okay so i'll say marker is equal to o and plt dot x label so along the x axis we have the tv plt dot y label so this is the column of sales so let's go ahead and try to visualize it see if you look into the relationship between the tv and sales so this is how this scatter plot would look like now connecting back to our last session that is on our previous session so what we have done in case of linear regression model we have tried to draw a straight line which passes through all the data points and here when we have drawn the line the parameters of those uh, e line that we have constructed so those parameters are actually the output that we are trying to expect in the same way even in the hands on implementation when i apply a simple linear regression algorithm i'll be finding a straight line which passes through most of the data points so once i have constructed the straight line the parameters of that line are the parameters of the linear regression model that's all guys that's it okay i just have to send these things x and y as the input and i'll have to get those parameters or the outputs okay now we have seen what exactly is this linear regression and you know already about the general flow of machine learning so this is going to describe us the general flow of machine learning so let's observe the gen let's let me add this screenshot for your reference so that we will utilize the same during our implementation i'll add it on my notebook as a note so that you can have it as a handy when you're revising the topic okay so this is how the flow would look like now what i'm going to share right now is this okay so i'll i have the data so let's look into my data frame shape there are 200 rows in the data set okay so let's look, look into the x shape yeah there are 200 rows in x and there are 200 rows in y so as part of next step i'll have to split this data that i have got into two parts training and test data now in machine learning to split the data into two parts we've got a function that's called as a train test split function okay using this train test split function we can split the data into two parts now this train test split function is present inside the sklearn library i'll say from sklearn dot model underscore selection i'm going to import train test split okay 
Now once I have done the import, I'm going to split the data into two parts. So once I create the split, okay, this is going to generate two parts. So to store those individual parts, I'm going to say x train comma x test y train comma y test is equal to train test and I'll mention my test size as 0 0.3 which is nothing but 30% of the data should go to my testing part. Okay now once I have split it to ensure that my split is same as your split so we will mention the random state. So I'll say random underscore state is equal to 42. So this will ensure the repeatability of the split. You can use any random state. So if you specify the random state as 42, the output that I would get in my system will be same as yours. Okay. So we'll split the data into two parts. Now what we have done, we have now split the data into two parts. Next thing, we have to apply the machine learning algorithm. So this time, the machine learning algorithm that we are interested in implementing is linear regression. So from sklearn dot linear underscore model, I'm going to import the linear regression. Now, once I've imported this class of linear regression, I'm going to initialize the linear regression object. So linear regression, then this is going to initialize the model. Now, once I have initialized the model, okay, I'm going to apply this linear regression algorithm on my data set, especially on the training data. In order to apply it on the data set, what I'm going to say is, okay, apply this linear regression model on the training data. In order to technically say apply it on the training data, we will make use of a method that's called as a fit. So lr.fit and I'll mention my model x train comma y train. Okay, we'll perform the fit on the given linear regression model. So lr dot fit x train comma y train. Now once I perform the fit, okay, the next thing that I'll be interested in doing is obviously I want to understand how best that my model has split. Now here when I'm performing the split, I'm getting an error. The error that I'm getting is because of some criteria that I'm not following. It says my data that I'm sending, it should be in a two dimensional array format, but I'm sending the data in one dimensional array. So that means it is asking me to reshape my array into the two dimension. That means I'll have to reshape my X. So let me just do that guys. Okay. So in order to avoid the confusion, I'll just mention it like this. I'll say X is equal to X dot reshape. So first I'll get the values since it's a pandas series. Okay. X dot values dot reshape and I'll say minus one comma one. Okay. Then I'll sp split it. And after I, do, after I have done the split, okay. If you look into the shape of the X train, as well as X test. So I will now have the split in the ratio of this 30, 70. Okay. 140 rows in training data, 60 rows in test data. So now I'll execute this cell. So this will perform the fit on the linear regression model on the training data. So that means we have applied the machine learning algorithm on the training data and output that I have got is the trained machine learning model. Now, once I've got the trained machine learning model, see, I have X and I have Y. Now, the output that I would get that is output from model is nothing but the parameters A and B. So, the first parameter that I'm going to show you is Y intercept. So, if I want to get the Y intercept, I'll just say LR dot intercept underscore so the y intercept is given by 7.23. Now, if I want to get the x value, that is the slope value, okay, to get the slope, I'll say lr dot coefficient. If I execute this, this is given by 0 0.046. So what it means is, in other words, I have sent in the data x and y, the output from algorithm, okay, the output from algorithm says that okay the relationship bit between x and y is given by y is equal to 
0.046 times sales okay so 0.046 times say tv plus 7.23 that is tv ad spend that is sales is equal to 0.046 tv plus 7.23 so this is what has been learned from the data itself i hope you can now link back as why do we say that machine is actually learning because in this scenario the machine itself is actually run, learning so it is learning the relationship between x and y by simply getting the data hence we call this scenario as a machine learning and in this scenario the equation that we have used is y is equal to a plus bx and this is the equation or this is the model that we call it as a simple linear regression model is yes, a and b okay so which completes that we were able to get a trained machine learning model now once we have trained the machine learning model we can also generate the prediction that means if i want to find the output okay i want to find the output for unknown data so here I have got the unknown data that is X test. So what I'll do is I'll generate the prediction by writing as LR.predict and I'll mention my X test. So when I execute it, I've got the output that says that, okay, if I, let me just display first few entries. Okay, that will be easier for us to explain. So if I send 163.3 for a TV, sales okay tv ads so i'm going to get the sales of 14.81 if i'm spending 195.4 then i'm getting the sales of 16.30 so that is how we can predict the sales now after we have generated the prediction we can go ahead and perform the evaluation okay we can go ahead and perform the evaluation of regression model now as part of this video I have actually performed the oversimplification of few concepts so that you can actually understand the overall thing that we have got in machine learning. Now with this overall picture that we have that we now have with the machine learning in the next video, let's perform the multiple machine learning model and try to go in depth about this machine learning algorithm. So please go ahead and try out at your side as well. Now we've got an assignment for you. So go ahead and I want you to perform this assignment team. Okay, so what you have to do is as part of this assignment, X as a newspaper, okay, and Y as sales, okay, implement the linear regression model. So the expectation is as a learner, you'll have to separate the X and Y and follow the same steps that I have mentioned for the simple linear regression, split the data into two parts, apply the training data on the supervised machine learning algorithm, generate a trained model, display the parameters and perform the prediction. Okay, I want you to do it at your end so that it will be a good practice for you and a quick recap on the concepts that we have learned in this video. So. Go ahead and do the practice and I'll see you in the next video.